Hi, this is Raina from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to do a craft tutorial for consumercrafts.com. So I'm going to make this green tea soap and it's fairly straightforward to make. Um, I wrapped it so that it looks like a little tea bag and then there's a little label that says green tea soap and handcrafted. So uh, let me open the soap up so you can see what's inside. Oops. But I did, uh, this is just wax paper that I wrapped it in so you can see that the soap says green tea soap and then that's the bar of soap. So let's get started. For this tutorial you will need one bar, one block of goat's milk soap. So I use goat's milk soap but you can use just the glycerin soap that they have on consumercrafts.com um, and one one bar of soap uses five small bricks. So this whole thing, there was actually one extra one, would make eight bars of soap or nine if you stretched it and you will need a mold and this mold also I'll link all of the products below and this is a mold I got the consumer cross off and I'm using this rectangular mold right here you will also need Japanese green tea for your soap I picked up these green teas from Costco and I recommend using Japanese green tea because it'll make your soap look green not brown if you don't mind your soap looking brown then you can use any type of tea like Lipton or Chinese green tea those are actually more brown in shade and you will also need one packet per bar of soap in addition you'll need a plastic spoon and a paper bowl for easy cleanup so you can just toss these things after you're done so I'm just gonna cut my bars of soap um, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, so this whole row to make to make one bar of the soap. So I'm just gonna cut that out. And then I'm gonna put it into my bowl. And I'm gonna head over to the microwave and microwave this for on low heat and then I should say low heat for 30 second intervals and it usually actually takes me an hour and no sorry not an hour a minute and a half so three three 30 second intervals okay so this is how it looks like after it's melted and that was three 37 second intervals and I stirred in between each one um, until it was nice and uh, liquidy like that so now I am going to take my packet of green tea just open it up and then some green tea comes out there so I just kind of shake it in there just cut this open and then I'm gonna pour most of it in my and just saving a little to top off the top of my uh, the top of my soap or the bottom of my soap and just stir it like that and now I'm going to take my mold and pour it in. Just want to do this very carefully. Like so. And now you wait for the soap to set. On the package it says to wait for 20 to 60 minutes. I found that it works best to wait for 20 minutes and pop it to the freezer for the rest of the time. So now my soap is set and I'm going to take it out of the mold. And if you're wondering why my mold is different, it is because I accidentally spilled the first batch that I made. And then when I was trying to refilm this video really quick, I heated the soap really hot because I was trying to melt it as quick as possible and create a new mold and put it into the mold. And then I melted my mold there. And then so I needed to use a different mold. But the lesson learned that you should follow the directions definitely do low heat and another thing um, is that do you notice how the the soap settled to the bottom or the green tea settled to the bottom once you if you don't want that to happen you should let after you melt your soap you want to let it sit for a little bit so that it'll thicken and then stir the green tea in and then just keep stirring and then wait for it to sit a little longer so that it's thick enough that it, the green tea is suspended, but thin enough that you can still pour into the mold without any clumps. And then another thing is if you want a deep green color for your soap, then you want to heat it up more so that the, um, on low heat still, uh, so that the green tea infuses into the soap. Uh, one thing to note also, this is a lot of notes that I've learned making this soap, is that the green tea will eventually oxidize. So even though the green, the soap is green now, 
eventually it will turn brown. So that's just something to note. You may want to write it on your soap if you're giving it as a gift so people don't go, oh, what happened to my soap? That green tea does oxidize and because there's, it's all natural and there's no colorings in it, it will oxidize. So now getting back to the tutorial, I know that was a, a very long-winded thing. I'm going to teach you how to stamp your soap with this um, stamp. If you had a soap stamp, you can just literally just go like this and punch it in and you are done. But I only have rubber stamps, so you cannot do that. A soap stamp, I think, is made of plastic or acrylic or something like that, where it's hard and you can just push it in. So what I do is I actually use a heat tool. So let me take my heat tool and I will plug it in and I heat the soap a little. So I'm gonna st start the heat tool and heat the soap up a little and then so it it'll be soft enough to stick my stamp in. After you stick your stamp in, you do want to wait around five minutes until the soap rehardens, or you can stick this back into the fridge with the stamp, and then pull, you can pull out the stamp. Okay, so the I waited around five minutes. I stuck it in the fridge for a little bit, and now I'm gonna pull off my stamp. And see, you see, it's embossed green tea. You do have wrinkles because you did melt the soap, and I think. When I pushed down the stamp, I shifted it a little, so you gotta just be careful about that. There's not much you can do because this is a rubber stamp. So now I'm gonna teach you how to make the tea bag that's inspired by like this tea bag um, wrapping for the soap. So what you're gonna need is a stapler, tape, baker's twine, and just a label that I printed out. So I printed out a bunch of them on Word and you can do this. And if you want them to look like this correct way when you put the tea bag on, you wanna make one of them upside down. So I'm gonna take my wax paper and this is, oh, you need wax paper also. So this wax paper, I cut just a little wider than the soap and I am going to get two pieces of tape ready. I'm just gonna fold up both of these pieces like so. It's like you're wrapping a present. So you're gonna you're gonna fold one side down and the other side down. So it's as if you were wrapping this as a present. And then I'm just gonna turn this around because the green tea is in the front. So I'm gonna just turn this around and then I'm going to tape up one side and the tape you can take off at the end so it's just to hold it in place while you are wrapping up the soap so it's like you're wrapping a present on both sides so you can just do that tape like this and then this isn't really an exact science but I just kind of take the two sides and I fold it in, um, approximate, just to make it look like a tea bag. So, so you have that, like that. And then I'm just gonna fold over fold it once or twice I'll fold it twice I'm gonna fold it over twice like that I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna take my baker's twine and I'm gonna cut out I already have a little string cut out just tie a knot so that the staple won't get loose and then I'm just going to staple the string onto the tea bag like so take another piece of tape and attach my label. So I just put this tape in between my two labels and I just stick my label. Like 
So, and now you have your green tea soap in a cute little package. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for consumercrafts.com. Be sure to check out their website to buy all the materials needed for this project. If you happen to make this project or on any of their social media sites, be sure to tag them. And if you are on Instagram, be sure to tag me. My username is the Chief Thief. I would love to see your creations. Thank you. Have a great day. And remember to be kind to one another. Until next time. Bye now.